Welcome everybody, Kelly here from KB Auto Tech and Adventure. Today we're in my shop, we got two 97 Foreigners, and we are going to install external trans coolers and a filter. So stay tuned, let's go. Let's take a quick look at what we're going to be installing here. So this is a Hayden 678 uh, trans cooler and then we're also going to be installing here this uh, inline magnetic filter. This is a 3 8 uh, line filter and it's 1-8721. So let's have a quick look inside the box here as well. Okay so in inside the box here obviously we have the cooler, we have some 11 30 seconds hose and then it has the mounting uh, connectors I guess you would want to call them, some clamps some foam you know, for uh, getting in between the two and a few other things along there. What we don't have included, which we did bought, buy I should say, is we have this sheathing here for the hoses we're gonna put around them and we bought some extra 11 30 seconds hose. And if you wanna take a quick look at this filter, let's see if I can get this to zoom in here. So I guess this is branded by Rebestus and that's a magnetic inline filter, shows the flow. It says 3 8 inch, but the 11 30 seconds hose pushes on there. So we're going to be installing this as well as just a, an extra little countermeasure. First thing we're going to have to do is we need to remove this grill. Don't mind me, I have my bumper off. Uh, we have something else going on with that. You do not need to take your bumper off to do this job. All we need to do is remove this grill. There's going to be six clips that we need to undo here, 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 and right here. And I'll quickly show you how to do that. We just reach in behind and flick the clip down and we kind of pull it forward, pretty simple. Just made a slight error in the last comment there. I said that there was uh, six clips, but there's actually seven. There's one right in the center. So the lower ones, basically I can, you can see it right here. And that is just a little clip that you have to just push down on and pull at the same time. So you'll be able to do that for the bottom three. The top four, you have to do reach in behind there. It's a little bit trickier. Now that we got the grill off, we got to go ahead and um, you know find a location for the cooler. Uh, from the previous ones we've installed before, we found slightly to the left side here is generally the best spot. So first thing we're going to want to do is let's just go ahead and let's just pull off this uh, horn here real quick with this 12 mil, and let's just hang it out of the way. So approximately here is about the best location you know I've found. I mean, if you find something that you like better, go ahead and do that. This seems to work pretty good for us. Both of the hoses are usable you can get them in a good location we're going to end up by running them through this we're going to end up by running them through that void right there so let's go ahead and get this thing set up and uh we're going to get it put on there okay so if you haven't seen this before this is the hangers that hold on the cooler essentially we're going to push this through and we're going to lock it on the other side with this and just cut off the excess so enable to do in order to do that we need to be able to get in between the radiator and the AC condenser. With your grill off, you'll be able to access these top ones quite easily. But obviously your bumper is going to be on and it's going to probably be about this high. So these two lower ones right here, you'll be able to, you have a bit of an extension, you'll be able to go through the grill and get to these ones like this. Just made a small mistake there. When I say grill again, what I mean is the opening in the bumper. It'll be on a little bit of an angle like this. With those out of the way, we can go ahead and push the radiator back. And that allows us room to reach in in behind and connect the clips. On the back side of our cooler, we need to install these foam pads to stop abrasion between the two metals. So pretty straightforward, rip them apart. We'll put those on there and we need to line them up right here. That way when we push these through, they will come through essentially just like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll quickly do that to all four. Just for the heck of it, I had two extra little pieces of foam kicking around. I think I'll just throw these on anyways. It probably won't make any difference, but I had them just sitting around, so why not? 
there we have it. Just because these are super annoying to deal with when we're uh, you know, trying to install them because they're so long, they'll go right through. I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut these to size, not to size, but cut them down. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get this into position here. So we'll just slide it in here. So we got all four on there, and then we're gonna reach down in behind here, and we're gonna go ahead and secure these on from behind. All right, so we're underneath the vehicle, and we gotta get this thing connected. So this hose here is your pressure side or your feed side. So this is going into the OE cooler, and then back out and this is technically the return. So if you wanted to bypass your cooler, this is what you would do. So you would uh, run this to the bottom side, run this one to the bottom side of your new trans cooler, and then the one coming out of the trans cooler or the top would basically go into this side. So we're gonna be running both coolers. We're gonna be running the, uh, the factory one and the external one. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave this pressure side connected. So it's gonna go in here, travel, and it's gonna come out this side. So we're gonna run this, we're gonna undo this here, and we're gonna run this to the lower side of the new cooler, and then we'll bring it back around and I'll show you what we're gonna do there. Okay, so we have our feed side here, we're gonna leave that alone. We're gonna go ahead and unfortunately my little factory hold down things broken so uh, we're gonna go ahead I'm just gonna clamp this off not too tight we'll go ahead and we'll just undo this we'll let that drain out there real quick we've got a pan on the floor no big deal just be aware that it's gonna leak on you so like I was saying so we're gonna run this hose to the lower side on the new cooler and then the top hose is gonna come in and we're gonna go ahead and put it in line here with our filter. So while I'm down here, I'm just gonna find the location for the filter. What we're gonna end up by doing is we're gonna put it right into this position here. So all I'm gonna do is make this approximate. We're gonna cut that right about there. Now that I know the two length of hoses that I'm gonna be using, both of them are under four feet. This one's just over about, this is about three and three quarters. And this is about three and a quarter feet long. I'm gonna go ahead and put this sheathing on to protect them. The hose is fairly thick, but you know, under the hood, it can rub and slowly uh, you know, wear through. So just getting a little bit of added protection. We're gonna go ahead and put on this uh, nylon plastic sheathing here. Pretty simple to do, sort of like a Chinese finger trap here. We're just gonna go ahead and f keep feeding that on. That'll probably be good. Just snip that off there. All right, so I got my trans cooler installed and I got my lines installed. So this bottom one is the pressure hose. This is the one that's coming from the feed. And we're gonna fill the cooler from the bottom. So it fills up, pushes any air out and gets cooled off. And then this is going to be down to the return, which we're going to run down to our filter, then into our return. All right, so we're almost done. We're gonna make our last two connections. So just to recap, we'll do this one more time. This here is your pressure line coming from the transmission. It's going into the factory cooler inside the radiator. It's going traveling this way, and then it's coming out here as pressure. This is the one that we connected to the bottom of the external cooler. So we'll make sure we got our clamp on there, and we'll just push that on. Then I'll get it on and I'll tighten it after. This hose here is the one that we have coming from the top of the external cooler and it's gonna go into, is basically now where this is return. We'll just lightly put it on there, just for demonstration. It's gonna go into this filter with the flow marking this way and back into the return and back into the trans, nice and cooled and at the proper temperature. So we've completed our circuit. I'll go ahead and just pop these all on and get them all tightened up and we're ready to put it back together and uh, check our fluid. 
So I've gone ahead and tightened everything up. Figured I'd just sort of try and peek in there and show you exactly what it looks like. So there we have it with the filter on there and the lines there and just up in behind there. I uh, just secured it with a couple of zip ties. It's kind of nice with that nylon coating. I know it'll help protect it from rubbing through. Just make sure it's all secured. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna run it and make sure that uh, nothing leaks. Well, that brings us to the end. Make sure you check all your connections, check for fluid leaks, and set your fluid level. From there, if you have any further questions, if you think I've answered them all, or if you, I might have missed something, go ahead, drop it in the comments below, and I'll try and get back to you. If you found this video informative in any kind of way, consider giving me a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.